then. One of those things was I, I grew up in the rural South. So I was, I was very tactile with the practicality of something being real, mm -hmm. like, you know, a two by four, like doing construction, like fixing my car. So there was a real strong natural sort of, as people like to say, salt of earth or dirt thing to me that right. would be one of the foundations of the four corners of my house at that time. One of the other things that happened to me prior to coming to Los Angeles was I accidentally, I mean, just to make this statement makes me laugh, that I, <laughs> that I accidentally discovered a love of psychology in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I mean, <laughs> you have to, I mean, that's just some good comedy in that. Because Murfreesboro at the time was a town of about 30,000 people, and and I think 9,000 of it were at the university. And MTSU was even a Division II school then, so it was really small. Uh, and so the psychology part of me, the practical part of me, mm -hmm. and then the competitive part of me in terms of practice and repetition mm -hmm. and trying to put as much, and we do this with acting class, but it was the athletic part of me, which ironically my acting coach used to reference athletes all the time. That part of me was the third part, but then there was the fourth. And that's what you what actually sparked these four things is what you said when you said spirituality. Well, I came from the Bible Belt of this country. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a huge fundamental religion person. And the irony of what you're bringing up is in 1991, when I started the Actors Network, I had been dating a woman named Susie, who's still a friend of mine to this day. She was my first real adult relationship. She is a licensed practitioner at Agape today. Wow. And so what had happened, what had, what had happened, Stuart Scott, yeah, exactly. what had happened was uh, she had been in my life for two years. And obviously some of the concept of, of just spirituality and or how you view things, I was already a sensitive Pisces and I was very sentimental and I loved poetry and those things were, were already in me. But the spiritual sense of her being my partner at the time uh, would, would have been the fourth thing in those four foundations that kind of, along with that non-individual competitiveness, that sort of built this philosophy in me of, shit, man, why don't we just all help each other out? I'm not really going to I never even auditioned for all the commercials that you got. Like you guys should know, Paul, I get a bunch of commercials. That, like I never even right. read for those. With two white guys that are about the same age, I never even went in. For, I'd see the commercial that you were on. I'm like, I didn't even audition for that. It's like that's how the old joke goes. You can say they all look alike about any ethnicity if yep. you want. It's like, yeah, they can look alike, but they're not the same. So I just, it's all those four things and then my philosophy about individual competition that that just sort of, I guess for you was, was a natural part of what you experienced walking into the Actors Network. hundred percent. Because what I, I already saw this uh, sea of confusion. I, I love, I just love that word. <laughs> and is there a way, and you, you know, this is back in the time machine. Everyone knows this, uh, you know, though the uh, World Wide Web was at least formalized or popularized in 89. And it just, we can all, you know, recite that history, but 95, 96. We didn't even have personal on, computers. It was like, how much is about $3,500? Forget that. You know. Yeah. Um, 56K, remember. <laughs> oh, my God. Feeding <laughs> floppies in. Yeah. More, yeah. more yeah. flop, Come more on. flop. No, yeah. but you, for me, you created clarity, which um, that's what I needed because I knew I had, you know, again, what motivates every actor to get involved in this crazy business? I don't know, but at least. I had a little bit of history in a smaller market. I met someone kind of like you who did an orientation, bear with me, that was a little more uh, a real, very real about the business. Like, forget it. The prospects of you actually booking work in this highly competitive market of Los Angeles or New York uh, is slim. So I said, oh, great. So basically, what am I supposed to do? Just stay in a smaller market the rest of my life and then, you know, wonder to myself, I wonder that one, you know, I should probably get down to the bigger market, but, you know, whatever. But I didn't. I got to the, I, I came here and then connection, connection. And then to meet you, I go, oh, he's like that guy, but he's more positive. <laughs> 
because I got a team of people here. We're all going to work together. Okay, great. Some of you are going to succeed. Some of you might not. Some of you might be this, that, whatever. But are you willing to grab an oar and row and we're all going to be in this thing together? I'm like, teamwork. I get it. So I love what you said about it because it's truly, that's what it is. It's like, maybe we compete with each other, but a casting director knows like whatever's coming out of me and whatever's coming out of you. Yeah, yeah it's two different essences. That's I not just, the same yeah. guy. I don't, I can't, 